Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli Connect. In this video, we are going to learn how to share Telegram videos on Facebook page. Here, my objective is that as soon as I'm going to receive a new video on my Telegram channel or group, automatically that same video should be shared as a post on my Facebook page. So how we are going to automate this entire process? For this, we will have to set up a connection between Telegram and Facebook pages and that we are going to do without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect. So we have Telegram in our trigger and Facebook pages in our action. We will connect both of them by using Pabli Connect in order to automate this entire process. And to learn the entire automation step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn how to send Telegram videos on Facebook page. So let's suppose I have a group on my Telegram account and I want that as soon as I'm going to receive a new video on my Telegram group, automatically that same video should be shared on my Facebook page as a post. All right. Now for creating this automation, we are going to set up a simple connection between Telegram and Facebook page and that we are going to do without any coding or programming skills with the help of this amazing automation software, Pabli Connect. Pabli Connect allows us to connect multiple applications without any coding or programming skills in order to automate our task. So this is the home page of Fabli Connect where we can reach by tapping the URL pabli.com slash connect. After coming here, we can find two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, you can directly click on sign in. But if you are a new user, you have to click on this sign up for free button to create your free new account. Also, when you will create your account, you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. Now, as an existing user, I'm directly clicking on sign in. This is the all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And it has taken us towards the dashboard of Fabli Connect. Now here on the dashboard, we can find all of our workflows which we have created. And we can also create folders here to save the workflows. As you can find, I have multiple folders over here. I have created them in order to save my workflows accordingly on my dashboard. Now to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option, which is given on right corner with blue color. So let's do that. And here a dialog box will appear in front of us. It is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, let us provide a name over here. Share Telegram videos on Facebook pages. Now, after giving the name, we can also select the folder in which we want to save the workflows. So from the drop down, I'm going to select this social media automation folder. And now let's click on create. As we do that, we can find that two windows are open in front of us. First is the trigger and the other is action. What are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two concepts or the principles on which the entire automation runs. Here the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is a response towards our trigger. Whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Now let's suppose we are going to take Telegram in our trigger and Facebook pages in our action. And we want that as soon as a new video will be uploaded or will be received on our telegram group automatically that same video should be shared along with a caption on our facebook page we can find that our action is following what the trigger commands because when the trigger happens that means when the video is received from telegram then only it is shared on facebook pages otherwise not okay now after understanding the concept let's start creating the workflow step by step so first of all we will select our trigger application and that is telegram so let's select telegram bot over here and now we need to select the trigger event trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to start or trigger so here our trigger event will be set web book watch updates let us select that and now let's click on connect so from the given options, I'm going to select this add new connection to build a new connection with Telegram bot account. If you already have an existing connection, you can also go with that. After selecting add new connection here, we need to provide the token. Now from where we are going to find this token for that, we have to first of all, go towards our Telegram account. And here we need to search for bot father. And after coming on bot father here, we need to type a message that is new bot. So basically here we are going to create a new bot, which will automatically send the response from Telegram towards Fabli Connect. Okay. So here we we will click on this new bot option. So now it is saying, all right, a new bot. How are we going to call it? Please choose a name for your bot. So here I'm going to give a name to my bot. Let's say telegram video. All right. Now it is asking, good. Now let's choose a username for your bot. It must end in bot. Like for example, this. So we have to select the username for our bot, which should end like this with underscore bot. So let's say I'm going to give the name of my bot as new video bot. All right. Let me send it. So it is saying, sorry, the username is already taken. So let me try some another name. Okay, so it is saying done. Congratulations on your new bot. So the bot name is selected. Now this is the API token which is provided to us. So let's simply copy it and we will paste it here in the token field. Okay, now let's click on save. 
and with this we can find that telegram bot account is successfully connected with public connect now you will click on save and send test request button let's do that and here it is showing waiting for response that means now we have to do a test submission by sending the video on our telegram group so that the response of that video could be captured here in public connect but for that first of all we need to create a group in which the video is going to be received so here i'm going to create a new group and here we need to add our bot which we have recently created into our group so the name of my bot is so the name of my bot is this telegram video i'm going to select it and i'm going to add the same bot in my group so the group is created now i'm going to give the name to my group that is let's say tech team all right now i'm going to create the group tech team group is created now we will go towards the member of the group and here we can find that there are two members right now first member is me that is the owner of the group and the second member is the bot okay so this is our bot telegram video now in order to send the response from telegram group which we have recently created towards public connect we will first have to provide the admin access right to our bot so that can be done with the help of mobile application of telegram so i'm going to provide the admin access right to my bot with the help of my phone so i have provided the admin access right to my bot all right so we can find admin in front of the bot okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to do a test submission over here by sending a video on my telegram group so i'm going to attach a video okay so here this is the video i'm going to enter the caption as check out our new video okay so i'm going to click on send and the video is being sending let's wait for 2 minutes let's wait for a few seconds and the video is uploaded okay and here we can find that we have received the response in public connect and in the response we have received all the details and this is the caption of the video as well all right so this means that the connection between telegram bot and public connect is successful so whenever we are going to receive a new video by a team member on our telegram group automatically the response of that video will be captured over here now i want to share the same video as a post on my facebook page for that first of all let me select my page so this is my facebook page true honest tech reviews now i want that as soon as i'm going to receive a new video from my tech team member on my telegram group automatically that same video along with the caption should be shared here as a post on my facebook page for that we will go back towards public connect and because we want to connect our facebook page with public connect let us first of all select our action application as facebook pages and we will select the action event as create page post let's click on connect now from the given options i'm going to select add new connection to build a new connection with facebook pages account if you already have an existing connection you can also go with that let's click on connect with facebook pages and here we will simply click on continue now here our authorization has become successful and facebook pages are successfully connected with public connect so we will move further but before moving forward and posting the video on our facebook page here i want to apply a condition because we know that we can receive multiple messages on our telegram group from our team members which could even include images text messages and etc but i do not want to share all of them as a post on my facebook page i want to share only the video which i am receiving from my team members on facebook page therefore i am going to apply a filter over here so let's click on this add action step button in between so that we can add one more action step and here i am going to apply filter filter is an amazing feature by pabli which allows to set condition in our workflow according to our requirements let us select the action event as filter values and here we will simply click on connect after building the connection here we will move further and we will set up the condition over here so our condition will be that if we are receiving the message that is the type of the message will be video then the workflow should continue so here we have received the response of telegram bot so here we are going to select the label as that if in the response we will receive the video mp4 so we will select the label first and if the filter type will exist so here our condition will be that if in the response message video mime type video mp4 will exist then the workflow should continue otherwise not so let us click on the save and send test request button to check the condition and here our condition is true because in the response we have already received the video so now we want to further continue the workflow and we want to share the video on our facebook page so we will select our facebook page first of all so the name of my facebook page is true honest tech reviews i am going to select the same over here true honest tech reviews and now it is asking the message that we want to post along with the video that means the caption of the video and the link url of the video so we have already received the message that means the caption from our earlier response let us simply map that now mapping is inserting data from previous step here our previous step is given and here are all the details we want to map the caption which we have received from our earlier response so let us simply map the caption and done 
So when we have mapped this caption, it has become dynamic. So it is going to change with each and every response. That means now whenever we are going to receive a new video from our team members on our Telegram channel, automatically the caption of that video will be changed and a new caption will appear here in place of this particular caption in this field. In this way, we are going to automate the entire process. The next, it is asking the link URL of the video through which we are going to share the video on our Facebook page. But because in the response, we have not received the link URL of the video. Therefore, in order to get that, we have to apply one more action step in between. So let's click on this add action step button over here. And in the action application, again, we are going to select Telegram bot. And the action event will be get file so we are going to get the file that means a video from this particular step let's click on connect and because once we have already created the connection let's go with the existing connection only let's click on save and once again telegram bot is successfully connected with Paply connect now it is asking us to enter the file id we will enter the file id and we will click on the save and send test request button so we will receive the file path by using that file path then we are going to get the link of the video all right so we will simply map the file id which we have received let me search for the file id so this is the message video file id let me simply select that and done let's click on save and send test request button so the file id is mapped and here is the response in the response we have received the file path now we are going to use this file path in order to generate the link url of our video so it is given that file can then be downloaded via the link this particular link we have to use in order to download the file then so we will simply copy this link and we will move further here in the link URL field. We will simply paste this and we will make the necessary changes in this field only. So it is given that in this particular URL, we need to enter the token here after bot, the token which we have recently generated by creating the bot. So I'm going to delete the existing data and we will go back towards our telegram account. And here I'm going to once again go towards bot father. This is my token. I'm going to copy the token from here and we will go back and paste it over here after bot the next is the file path so after this last slash here in this field we need to enter the file path okay so we have already received the file path from our earlier response that is from get file response we will simply map the file path over here so this has become the url of our video let's click on save and send test request button and here we have received the response in the response we have also received the id this means that the post is created on our facebook page and the video is shared so let's go and check on our facebook page let's refresh the page once and yes, here we can find that the video is uploading. Check out our new video. So this is the caption and here the video is uploading. This means that the workflow is perfectly successful. Let's go back and we will check the workflow once again. I'm going to once again share a new video over here. And the caption of this video will be, let's say, new video. And I'm going to click on send. So the video is uploading. And here we can find that both the videos are uploaded automatically on my Facebook page. This means that the workflow is running perfectly fine. Let's go back towards Fabric Connect and we will summarize what we have done here in the workflow. So we have followed simple steps in order to create this automation. We have taken trigger and actions. In trigger, we have taken Telegram bot. And in actions, we have taken filter by Pabli Telegram bot and Facebook pages. And we have connected all of them by using Pabli Connect in such a way that now whenever we are going to receive a new video on our Telegram group by a team member, automatically that same video will be shared along with the caption on our Facebook page. Okay, so in the same manner, you can very easily create this automation. This will enable you to automatically share your Telegram videos on your Facebook pages and that too effortlessly. This was it in this video. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but you can integrate many other applications by using Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can directly reach out to us at support at the red If you want to ask any query, you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you want to ask any pricing related issue, then you can directly reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful in any way, do not forget it to share it with your friends. And also, please like our videos and subscribe our channel to learn more such automations.